Hello and welcomes back everyone. I'm Forth here with even more The Witcher. Where we last left off, we were here on the outskirts of Zima. And we were spending a little bit of time here in the country inn. Doing a bit of fist fighting. And speaking with everyone and learning what we can. Can we rest at this fire? We can't. We could rest at the inn, but he was going to charge us five orins to do so. We have plenty of flint, so we can just do it that way. If we want to look at creating some more potions. I played around with my satchel a little. Um, I probably want to sell some more food, a little bit more drink. Looks like food restores vitality, drink restores endurance. We have some alcohol for bases. We have still those unknown potions. Oh, we've learned what one of them is, Blizzard. Boost reflexes and reaction time, improving the chance of parrying and evading attacks. Interesting. Okay. Grindstone, some more orange. Some more orange, some more flint once again. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic? To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast, and other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask him. Yes? And what do you have for sale? We need to sell some of our food. Um, let's just sell the berries. And we have some. That's fine. No one wants to buy the alcohol. I guess that's fine. Wow. 200 and 300 orins for the books here. A herb. Oh. Herbarium? A valuable resource for anyone wishing to recognize some of the plants growing in the area around Vizima. And a herbarium dedicated to plants that grow underground. Oh. So we can buy some herbs from him. Okay. Oh. Of course, you can um, gift people, can't you? I mean, is there any purpose to gifting people? Tell you what, we'll buy one. Never know when it may be ha um, handy to have a gift. With um, hell bear, grease some palms. We have a traveler over here. I may have heard of your brotherhood. I may have heard of your brotherhood. You've lit this fireplace, so. 
Can I get by without using one of my flint then? Oh, we've actually leveled up again. Handy. I don't know how we did that, but fair enough. I'll take it. Um, let's see now. Creation of oils, maybe? Actually, dexterity. I wouldn't mind increasing dexterity a little bit more. Let's um, try to think. We'll increase our steel sword a little bit more. Uh, let's look at potions while we're here. We don't have enough ingredients for any of them. We need some vitriol, rebus, and quibriff for the frighteners' vision. It's a mutagenic potion that grants one bronze talent. Vitriol, Rebus, and Quibriff. I'll see if I can purchase that from the herbalist there. I'll just meditate for one hour. See what time it is? Oh. The location is dangerous, apparently. And everyone's running indoors like a panic. And that gate's now closed as well. What a Yes? Oh, they're keeping. Oh, they're not running indoors. They're running under the like the the canopy. They keep out of the rain. Okay, that's a nice little touch of um, AI. I like that. So, um, a lot of people, a lot of things have vitriol, but not what I need. Oh, how much is that? Twelve. You know, we'll keep it in mind. Mm. Can I look at my potions while I'm here? I can't. Uh, formula. It's Rebus I would need then. Yes? I don't think there was any Rebus here. No. Okay. Ah, the blacksmith's here. Not good. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. <laughs> He's not very happy, is he? Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. 
Scoia'tael is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own, or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different oars and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some more. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. So, I don't know what the Grease will do, but I have the orans from the fist fight, so sure. This grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Were it? Listen. Causes crippling pain to wounded cre creatures. Okay, so we still have this grindstone as well. I've been kind of saving them for maybe later on. So yeah, I'm going to be interrupting you, but I've got work to do. Oh, I see. I've got work to do. I was gonna see if you could show me your wares. Be alert. Oh. Oh, all the rain. I've got work to do. Okay, fine. Just quick save, and then the gate is now open, so let's head out and explore a little. It is still classified as dangerous. One never knows when the beast will appear. Monsters abound in the crypt. I see. Well, we've unlocked unlocked a cat apparently unlocked Abigail's house let's explore a little shall we oh I keep forgetting we have these um herbs we can look at you cannot gather un oh you cannot gather unknown herbs which is probably why those books are worthwhile Interesting. Okay. Oh, now we have some Rebus. Well, it's worthwhile gathering what we can. The Witch's Hut! Oh, lovely. I mean, we probably shouldn't be over here. Oh, there's a sick person. At least, apparently we're immune. To, uh, diseases. Guess that comes with being a witcher. Can we... Can't draw a blade here. Silver Amber Ring. Okay. Some more flint. Ah. 
Let's just do a little bit of exploration, shall we? Oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! Hello, traveler. Are you alright? Damn squirrels! Assaulting convoys like during the war! Oh, we heard about the squirrels. An invitation to magic. It deals with the basics of magic and witcher signs. Don't mind me, I um, wonder what this man-shaped doll is for. I want. Oh, do we have a voodoo practitioner here? Let's speak to Abigail before we ask about a doll. man-shaped doll of oakum and wax. Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. So why do you... Why do they allow a witch to live in their village. What do you want? A book on animals. A, a bestiary describing swamp creatures. The Drowner, for example. Another field plants book. How interesting. She sells a lot of um, interesting goodies. A drowner repelling talisman for 400 though. What do you want? I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargest skulls? Not yet. Hurry then. Oh, I see. This is Abigail who wanted the bar. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. What do you want? Can I ask you something? If you must. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two, a silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. You'll need nasen salt, ganatsid's acid, Wine stone and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. See you later. So we've spent most of our uh, orans already. But she's given us a new formula. Spectre oil. A blade coated with the substance causes increased damage to spectres. Vitriol Rebus Afer. Yeah, whatever happened to our silver sword, or why couldn't we have been given one? By the other witches. Oh. We need to make more orans then, don't we? We need to buy some of those, um herb items interesting okay 
So it looks like there's plenty of things to do around here. So it does it deals increased damage to spectres, but can we still fight them without the special coating? It just has increased damage, so I'm guessing we can. Let's continue exploring. on holding down alt to explore when we're inside buildings. There's a royal huntsman in the distance. Not good. It's raining. And there's nothing we can do at the shrine. We'll explore this other abandoned house, and then we'll go see if we can speak to our royal guardsmen. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You Witchers do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Take care. Interesting. So we're getting gypped on some of the jobs we do, it seems. Fair enough. So, at night, we need to investigate the lake, wherever that happens to be. And we need to deal with a drowner anyway. We need to take the brains to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Oh, to the Reverend. Okay, let's continue exploring, shall we? Where should we go? Oh, see, so if you mark a place on the map, it glows. And it points you in that direction. Uh, we'll head back and then we'll head south. Might as well explore the outskirts entirely. See what trouble we can find. Okay, so we know about Hellbore now. I see, so just having it mentioned to us allows us to learn about it rather than just having to buy the the herbalism books. That's good. 
A secluded homestead. This is a lovely looking game. I know F The Witcher 3 has a lot more... It's like a much more open world game. Like when we left K. Morhen, we kind of just followed a road as like a quick travel. Whereas in F Witcher 3 you can walk from place to place apparently. Or if you have a steed ride there. Hello Odo, are you leading me somewhere? I see. Save the game and go in. Wow, you have a lot of stock here. Hope you don't mind if I just, um help myself. I wonder if anyone will mention that I'm just like claiming everything I see. From the blood and dents, this armor's a warrior's. But this fatso's more familiar with tankard than sword. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why into my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Geravant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? The Reverend? Be gone, straggler! So you won't speak to us until we speak to the Reverend, gone, maybe? Be gone, straggler! Okay. Maybe I should have lied instead of course. Oh, has... Are these items just kind of respawning? Interesting, if so. I mean, I'll take it all. It's actually going to come in handy. I'm going to quite happily play with a potion, the alchemy system in this game. So, um, I guess we should start making our way over to the Reverend then. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Huh. Interesting. Exploration. Oh dear. Silver ring. Looks like we are plenty picking up plenty of air uh, goodies. See, we have plenty of things to sell once again. Back at the inn. And this door is locked. Oh, two moments. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Had a sneeze there. What? Uh, something glowing in the distance. That's a little bit ominous. Let's uh, save. We'll look at that corpse. First of all. So he was armed. He had plenty of orange on his person as well. Circle? Ooh! Another one of those uh, magical circle stones. We have a cave entrance. Odd sign intensity increased. Okay, so what is this exactly? Set the medallion to detect nearby monsters or magic. If set to detect and magic, the medallion will vibrate near places of power. Set the medallion, meditate and open the inventory. So then you can select having it be magic or monster detection. You have found a place of power. What would you like to do? You performed a ritual of magic. I see. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have waited bef and en until we entered the cave. That might have been a more um, wise thing to do. But so be it. See, we're entering a new village here. I tell you what. I'll just save again. We'll break the video here. I see we still have a lot of places to explore here. But we're making our way slowly to the Reverend's house. I might quickly backtrack to the inn and sell a lot of our miscellaneous goods because I'm not sure what will be useful or what um, I should keep. But we'll try and make some more orans and we'll go from there. But... This has been Antforth playing The Witcher. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, bye-bye now.